with Peter's statement alone, they've probably got enough to charge you. So, for the time being, you're going to do a no-comment interview. Understood? I just want you to think about what you've done. You know, giving this statement, how serious it all is. I knew how serious it all was when I couldn't leave the house for weeks after being attacked. Look, I know what Ben did was wrong, completely, and he knows that too. It, but he could end up inside for this. Yeah. It's called facing your consequences. Ben wouldn't cope in prison right now. Oh, he managed before, didn't he? Yeah, but he's in a bad place. Grant, that's completely self-inflicted. No, no, it's more than that. Why are you trying to excuse what he done to me? So, uh, Peter must have been mistaken when he said it was Ben who attacked him because I was with Ben when he found him. Right, can you talk us through how it happened? Uh, we was at the bar at the Prince Albert. And we were on our way home when we saw Peter. He was collapsed. I didn't realise it was him at first, not until I got closer. And then what happened? Then I ran straight off to get his brother, Bobby. That must have been when Ben called the ambulance. Mrs Beale, you must realise how suspicious this all looks. You suddenly coming forward with an alibi for your son. Yeah, yeah, of course I do. But it was my grandson who was attacked, you know. Nobody wants this sorted more than I do. But it wasn't Ben. Uh, let me go! I don't know what people think of me. I mean it! <laughs> but I'm just a stupid queer boy. Ben! Just living in Daddy's shadow. <laughs> you don't have a clue. <laughs> They've let Ben out. Look at the state of me. He's a psycho. He come after me again and tried drowning me. Why would they let him out? Well, it's OK. Well, you, you won't have to see him anyway. Uh, he's gone to start Phil's. What, you knew? Oh, what have you done? Peter, I... I am so sorry. So, first... First, you cover for him. What, and then you lie to the police? I had no choice. You did have a choice. And you made it. We can work this out, Peter. I know we can. Please. If you won't listen to me, talk some sense, listen to your brother. Bobby, tell him, he don't be so stupid, he doesn't have to go. Tell him. Just let him go, Nan. I trusted him with how I felt about Donna, and he just went and slept with her anyway. I should have known you're a snake. Yeah? I'd rather be a snake than a murderer. Peter! Oh, 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 come on, mate. Calm down. I, I, I know you're upset, but you can't leave it like this. Mate. You. Don't make me laugh. You're a thief and a liar. She forgave you quick enough, though, didn't she? <laughs> yeah, she must be desperate. You'll never be able to trust him, you know that, don't you? Who knows what skeletons he's got in his closet? Oh, don't do and this. And Gran, I loved you more than anyone. And you can chuck yourself off a cliff for Ben, but it won't change what you've done to him in South Africa. But it's easy enough blaming Phil for it, isn't it? I would look closer to home. I'm not going to let this family ruin my life anymore. I'm done. Oh, Peter, please. Please, don't go, Peter. 